Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create a report with parameters in Report Builder. So let's go ahead and open a Report Manager. And once we open the Report Manager, then we see the Report Builder tab here. So let's click on the Report Builder tab. If you do not know how to open the Report Manager, you can watch my previous videos. And I'm using SQL Server 2016 CTP2. And uh, once we open that, we will face this window called Getting Started. And from here, we can uh, go ahead and create uh, our report. And in the query design, uh, we can uh, use the parameters. So let's say we, we would like to use table or matrix wizard. And uh, uh, we can click here and it will take us uh, step by step uh, to, towards creating a report. Now, sometime uh, we will say, okay, every time I open report builder, I do not want to see this uh, dialog box. So you click here, you have a uh, uh, hit OK and uh, you never see this uh, uh, getting start window again so this is how the report builder will open uh, next time so now if you would like to open uh, the report wizard uh, how you will do that so you go to the file new and then uh, it will open pretty much the same thing uh, but uh, it is missing uh, recent and open tabs here so you click here on table or matrix wizard and uh, then it is asking us okay do you have a shared data set that, uh, that is deployed to the report server and you want to use it in our case we don't have it and if uh, that's the case uh, and you have it you can click here browse and it will go uh, it will take you to the report server and you can select uh, the uh, the data set from the folder where you have deployed it so cancel for now and create a new data set next now Next, uh, it is asking us to uh, choose a connection uh, to the data source. Uh, so in our case, uh, we can browse uh, and uh, go to the data sources folder on our report server and select sales. Uh, if you have uh, another one and you would like to use it, you can select that one, hit open. Now, if you do not have any data source uh, deployed to the report server and you would like to create a new one uh, for your report, uh, you can create uh, from here. You can click on new and then uh, provide the name and select or uh, the uh, SQL server or uh, any server what you like maybe you are getting the data from Oracle or maybe other databases uh, you can choose from uh, here and then provide the information and uh, test your connection uh, in our case we are using uh, a data source that is deployed to the report server already so we are gonna cancel this part now hit new next uh, sorry here we will see the database view that will tell us uh, tables, store procedures, views. In our case, we have simply one table sitting on uh, this uh, uh, database. So we have a total sale table that's in the sales database. We can select uh, different fields of what we like uh, to present uh, in our report. Now I'm selecting pretty much everything. So let's say if I would like to click all of them, <laughs> it is a wastage of time, we can do it. Or uh, you can select here right next to the table and then deselect uh, what you don't need. So that's how you can do it. And uh, in the this is a design a query window. And here you see that one of the part is called parameter. So now we can expand that one. We can uh, click on this one again and it will bring it back. So you have different uh, kind of, uh, you can minimize and maximize. And uh, here we have a parameter. Now. To add a parameter, you have to click on the add filter. So once you add filter, it's going to create a parameter. So it is saying like when, when I will select here in the drop down, I can go ahead and select the field on which I would like to have a parameter. So let's say country. So once I select the country and then I have operator. In the operator, I have like, not like, is, is not. So there are different things. Let's say we select is, that means equal. So here, we would like to just uh, click uh, in the parameter. So now we are telling, okay, this uh, uh, create this uh, as a parameter. So once uh, this is done, uh, we can go back to the edit as a text and see our query. So now if you see that, uh, this is the same query what we write most of the time, where we say where uh, our country is equal to at the rate country. We, this can be country name, you, parameter name can be anything. It doesn't have to be country always. Uh, but uh, this is how with the equal to at the rate that means it can accept uh, only one value so it is equal right so let's uh, click back on edit as a text now we want to select multiple values for the country so instead of is uh, we can go ahead and uh, use uh, 
is any of let's say so that that will give us in clause now if I go back to edit as a text I will see now country name in so I can pass multiple values for the this parameter and it will run for that so you can run the query if you like and then pass the values so here we can pass the values and that's how it will work edit as a text go back and now we can play with the things let's say we did is that mean equal is not not equal is any uh, if this is in clause in none of that means is not in so we can use is none of and then go back to edit as query sorry edit as text and you can see that it is a country not in this parameter values so that's how it will work so if you would like to play with the is more than is less than is equal uh, is less than or equal to so you can use different uh, operators and take a look and once you finally satisfy with your selection for your parameter and uh, in my case I would like to create this uh, uh, report uh, with the multi-value multi-value parameter so is any of will work just fine for me so now one of the thing values here let's say if we click here we can provide some values let's say if I would like to say India now and then I have to have Pakistan so you can see here and now we have blank India and Pakistan now let's see what happened we go to the edit as a text and here we see our it is in clause so it can accept multi-value so we'll go back to the our edit as text and so we are back to the window now we are going to go to the next and here we will be designing our report I'm going to design this one as a simple uh, uh, detailed report so select the columns uh, sorry fields so here I'm going to press shift and select pretty much all of them and uh, just drag entire thing into the values now here you see that uh, these uh, fields are coming as a sum so I really don't need uh, them as a sum I can click here and remove them because I'm creating this report uh, as a detailed report so I don't need the sum so I can simply have these uh, fields as, as it is so click on the next now and now this is how our report will show and uh, we don't uh, have uh, any subtotals or anything because we are not uh, applying any aggregation functions uh, so hit next uh, and now we can select different uh, uh, styles let's go with the forest uh, and finish uh, our report is created now let's go to the parameter and check few things uh, now double click on the country and uh, here we see that allow blank values as we did check there allow multiple values because we have used in clause and then uh, available values uh, let's see it did not select anything in the default values uh, it selected India and Pakistan as we have provided those default values while we were building our query so now it's all good click OK run the report and as of now you can see that it is running for India and Pakistan and it is shown all the records from those two countries we can go back and if I would like to have any other country let's say France now if I run this sorry report so refresh so now we when, when we refresh it it's gone let's say we refresh and uh, I would like to run the report from here France and uh, now it's good and uh, we can press F5 to run it every time we run it it does not take those values it take those uh, default values I would like to pass these values and see if we have a parameter okay this one hide the parameter this one uh, just uh, show us uh, the hide and show parameter values and then uh, I would like to have actually more than this one I, I don't really recommend uh, going this way writing it and typing it here you can make mistakes so I'm gonna go back to design and in the country I'm gonna go to parameter values and here I will say blank values I don't care I don't want to pass blank values available values I'm going, going to provide some values from the query so I'm gonna go back and uh, create a new data set so I right click add data set and I have to say I will deset parameter sale or a country parameter and now I'm going to 
use uh, as uh, embedded in my report I select that one this is going to be select distinct country from DBO dot total sale now we are all good here hit okay we have to select the data source so select the data source sales hit okay now go to the parameter right click parameter properties and the, in the available values we are going to provide a get from the query so this one country parameter country parameter and in default I'm okay with the these values I can remove this one I don't really care because I don't have blank values and I can provide India or Pakistan as a default and uh, the rest of that available values can be selected uh, from that uh, query so hit ok now run your report uh, and uh, you can see that it is running for India and Pakistan and we can select uh, multiple values from the drop down and uh, we can view report again and if uh, instead of uh, refreshing one time remember we were refreshing uh, and it was taken away that France or India whatever values we were providing uh, we were supposed to hit uh, view report uh, so that was it we were actually refreshing that will refresh the report entirely so that was the mistake we were doing uh, and uh, uh, if we go back to design and uh, let's say if we are not providing those uh, values again so no uh, specify no none and then say default India and Pakistan so if we run this report now and run it and if we would like to okay let me refresh and uh, if we would like to provide the value Europe here sorry France here now instead of refreshing I don't need to refresh sorry I was supposed to do view report so once I do view report I will get the data for France and then the same way I can go for Germany and all that but you see the problem it's not good idea to write these by by yourself is great idea if you would go back to design and in the parameter you go to parameter properties and use the available values and use the query so you will have the available values from the drop down instead of you just keep pasting or keep writing and messing up with those values sometimes spelling mistakes sometime we don't know if this country data is existing or not existing so that's how you will create the report with parameter in uh, report builder and especially by using the des query designer so let's go back to design uh, save the report uh, and uh, here we can save to the report server and let's call this one uh, parameter report uh, and save it now if you go back to the report manager and here we have a reports uh, and uh, we can see that re parameter report is here we can uh, open it and this is how our report will look like we have India and Pakistan as the default value we can click here and then we can change it whatever we want we can select all of them if, if we like and view report so this is how we will see our report thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video